We humans have coexisted with the stars for many thousands of years. Stars represent life and death. They preside over the cycles of the universe and give birth to the elements of life. People have looked to the night skies with awe and wonder from time and memory. But a catastrophe stopped these same stars. Relayers, those who seek the inevitable end of the universe according to its laws, and the star children who resist them. This is their story. In 2049, a portion of the Earth loses gravity, causing grave destruction. People, vehicles, and shattered buildings suddenly fell upward into space. It was a disaster unparalleled in all of human history. The city was destroyed in this tragic event. Many lives were lost. The disaster came to be known as the Gravity Loss Event. The Gravity Technology Development Organization, known as GT Labs, determined that relayers were responsible. However, Mankind lacked the tools to fight back. That truth was sure to send the people of Earth into a panic. The United Earth Government and Japan made the decision to conceal the true nature of the catastrophe, instead calling it a meteor strike. to protect Earth from the impending threat, GT Labs, under the leadership of humanity's first star child, Himiko, began to accelerate development of anti-relayer weaponry known as Stellar Gear, as well as the identification of other star children in possession of the will of the stars.
2051. Our story, the story of the Star Children, begins on the lunar surface, in a colony known as Artemis. that dream again. It's two years to the day. No wonder, I guess. It's been two years since I lost Luna. And my memory. I have been living an aimless existence ever since. Somehow, I ended up on the lunar colony, Artemis. Good morning, Master Terra. You appear distressed. Was it the usual dream? Good morning, Yoraka. Guess you didn't think to shake me out of it. I do apologize. You woke up of your own accord before I was able to make a decision. I thought that I had let go and moved on. I guess it's not that easy. You told me you lost most of your memory due to the shock of losing your little sister in the disaster two years ago. Which is perfectly understandable. One does not simply move on from that. I suggest you grieve for as long as you need to. Where are you going, Master Terra? To take a shower. I'm all covered in sweat thanks to that dream. As you please. However, checkout is in ten minutes. Are you sure you have adequate time? What? I ask once again, why is it you didn't wake me up? Last night upon retiring, you stated, I'm tired. So please, don't wake me up in the morning. In addition... In addition? I occasionally enjoy seeing you flustered, Master Terra. I find that it greatly stimulates my intellect. Stimulates your intellect? I should put you in a junkyard. Where should we go next? Pardon me for being presumptuous, but I assume this journey to be part of your grieving process. Accordingly, I recommend Mars. Don't be so quick to assume. Wait, why Mars? Nearly everywhere we have been to date has been a place that you mentioned your sister wanted to visit. Mars is also on that list, hence the recommendation. Furthermore, non-terrestrial environments greatly stimulate my intellect. Hmm, I guess. We're already on the moon. We might as well see some out-of-the-way places while we're here. Incidentally, how do you intend to travel to Mars? The same way we got here. On that thing. Pardon me for being direct, but are you a complete fool? What? 80 million kilometers currently separate Earth from Mars. Even making use of the Hohmann transfer orbit, it would take us eight months. I guess it's farther than I thought. Oh, Master Terrell, 
Your navigational ineptitude would surely see us lost and adrift among the stars. Not to mention filthy. Wow. No need to be so harsh. Die, humans. <laughs> what is the matter, Master Terra? That light. No way. It, it can't be. You really do exist out there. Please. I beg you. Please let everything from here on out just be a dream. Then open your eyes. About me, I'm more relieved to see you in one piece. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're okay. You flatter me, Master. But I really am glad. I was so scared I lost someone else to this disaster again. I'm sick of losing people I care about. You say, again. Please expound upon that. My... my sister... I lost Una in a disaster, just like this. Everything burning, wreckage, people, everything falling into the sky. It's hard to believe such a thing is even possible. What the hell is going on? What are we even feeling? Who are you? Himiko. Himiko? Star Child. The first star. Himiko. That's my name. I've come to find you, Terra. If you want to seek the truth, then I need your power as the Star Child of Earth. Twenty fifty one. I met Himiko in a land devoid of gravity. <laughs> Damn it! What the hell is going on? What's this column of light rising from that colony? Strange. Comms with both the base and GT labs are unstable. It's a little odd for cosmic ray interference to... Ah! Multiple heat signals incoming! What the... Corporal Max! What's happening? Are we under attack? Quasar, what is its affiliation? Control room, we're being engaged. Numerous unidentified quasars are attacking us. Damn, comms are out. Did they take? 
take out the control room. Hmm. Guess they still want to live. We'll handle this. No. Leave this to me. You take the research lab. Understood. Answer me! Who are you with? Who the hell are you? I'm a star child. A star child? I'm the star child of the moon. Bringer of death to humanity. A, a dark gear? No way. What is that doing here? Dark gear. So that's what this is called. I'm relieved to see you in one piece, first star. I'm sorry not to see you in pieces, Masked Man. Just to confirm, is that girl the one you've been looking for? That's right. She's the Star Child who possesses the will of Earth. Terra. Hmm. So you're the one. I suppose this must be fate. Um, Himika. It's you, not this guy in a mask. Unfortunately, he's a monitor sent from the United Earth government, and a total bummer. They call me Observer. I've been sent by the United Earth government to observe the GT Lab's experimental supergravity vessel. I sustained a terrible wound to my face long ago. Ever since, I've worn a mask so as not to upset people. Hey! This is no time for leisurely introductions. Those are relayers, aren't they? Looks that way. Relayers are the only ones in the whole universe who can cause gravity loss. What's your star saying? My star is saying they're relayers too. Then it must so. are disciples of dark energy who hold the fate of the universe in their hands. They have one goal, to extinguish all life by accelerating the expansion of the universe. They're the ones who hit Artemis with the gravity loss disaster a moment ago. What? I believe you witnessed it firsthand. Gravity vanishes seemingly without explanation, and everything is sucked into the void. Yes, I did. People, buildings, everything was ripped apart. Like a scene from a nightmare. Maybe that's why. It's not so hard for me to believe relayers exist. And that's why the stars willed us star children into existence. We are the only ones who can stop their plan and save the universe. Maybe you haven't noticed yet, but there's a star. The will of the Earth. Deep inside your heart. The Earth's will is inside my heart. Observer, I'll leave Terra to you. There's no way a military quasar can handle relayers. I'll head out in the Stellar Gear. That's right. Your Stellar Gear is here in this lab. But do you think you'll be safe out there? Of course. If nothing else, I've got sheer luck on my side. Star Children are meant to fight relayers. I'm here to give them a galaxy-sized beatdown. But still... Besides, they don't call me the first star because I run and hide when the relayers come around. Been to so many countries and various 
these places. And it's true everywhere that my life is easily saved. If you would, Udaka. A question, if I may. What prompted you to make this decision? If I sat around and did nothing, when I had the ability to help, I'd never forgive myself. I'm tired of having regrets. I've been through two of these awful Bradley Moss events now. Don't ever want one to happen again. That's all. I find it difficult to understand willingly exposing oneself to danger. Yet I wouldn't expect any less from you. Hey, you two. What you talking We're here. Is that Astoria? I thought it fell and burned up in the atmosphere after fighting a Dark Gear two years ago. So it survived its crash landing and been in her hands the whole time? What a stroke of luck. Sorry for the wait, Master Terra. No problem, Yudaka. That was faster than I expected. Fortunately, I was able to establish gravitational relay. I also predicted you might make this decision, so I'd already engaged its autopilot. What would I do without you, Yudaka? Please, step aboard. This gear has already been spotted by multiple enemies. I have no idea how well I can fight, but at least I'll buy some time. You can pull something off here, right, Himiko? Of course. They don't call me the first star for nothing. This is my first time fighting in this. Up until now, I've only used it for getting around. Does it even have weapons? More than enough. Along the way, it's been outfitted with salvaged weapons from destroyed quasars. Okay, I'll act as a decoy. I'm sure I can figure out how to pull a trigger if I have to. Please don't try to do too much. Dying won't help anyone. I know that. Why I'd live on in Luna's memory. I have no intention of dying here.
Master Terra, please allow me to handle the controls and status monitoring. Wow. You can do all that? I excel at it, in fact. Before you salvaged me from the scrapyard, I was a space probe AI. Why didn't you ever tell me? You never saw fit to ask me. You can be sure we'll have a nice long talk once this battle is over. Understood. I'll do my best to ensure we survive to have that talk. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. So this is the enemy. A re-layered dark gear. Wonder if I can handle it. Let us proceed, Master. If the way ahead is too dark, allow me to light your path. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Commencing repairs. I'll teach them a lesson. It looks like this one is different from a dark year. It appears to be an ordinary quasar. However, as it's a command gear, we'd best be careful. <laughs> This is one of those fancy new GT Labs quasars. Well, let's see what their new toy is made of. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. wants to die. Out of my way! I'm still good! Stella Gear Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. Commencing repairs! Leveled up. I'll teach them a lesson. Don't mess with me! I'm still good! Stella Gear Astoria. Ready to blaze trail. <laughs> Did I do that? Guess some of these GT Labs guys know what they're doing. What is the matter, Master Terra? I'd recognize 
is my own little sister anywhere. It's you, isn't it, Luna? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Is that my sister piloting that gear? What are the odds? I'm so glad you're alive. But why are you in that? What's that? You've got a lot of nerve. You're the one who let me go. And why are you talking like a creep? Come on, sis. Don't you think it's a bad idea to open your cockpit in the middle of a fight? Luna, please. Why are you doing this? Like you don't know. As if you had nothing to do with it. But if you have to know, I guess you could say I'm a bad star child. That's what I said. See you later, sis. Damn. Guess that didn't finish the job. Are you all right, Master Terra? Thanks for saving me, but I'm not even sure if I wanted you to close the hatch like that. Your safety is my primary concern. As the enemy pilot said, exposing yourself in a fight like that is exceedingly dangerous. See you some other time, sis. Wait! Please don't go! Reinforcements? There's no way I can handle all of them. Sorry for the holdup, Terra. First star Himiko to the rescue. Watch and learn. <laughs> Sorry to ask so much, but we still need your help. At least you'll get a front row seat to see me in action. Roger that. I can't stop thinking about Luna. But I need to focus on these enemies. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Catching you up. I'll do what I can to protect the universe. Stand in our way. Incoming! How could I lose? No nearby enemy readings. It looks as though we made it through. Great work, Yadaka. You too, Himiko. 
first. Allow me to thank you. We were able to keep damage to a minimum thanks to your help. I'm still shocked the relayers would target GT Labs directly. But why the Moon Lab and not the HQ Lab? Um, Yumiko? There's something I'd like to tell you. I've leveled up. you thought was dead is in cahoots with the relayers? We barely spoke, but there's no mistake. It was my sister, Luna. A human helping the relayers. I just don't get it. You're sure she called herself a star child? Yes. She said she was a bad star child. Yeah, she headed for that building over. <laughs> oh no. They're going after the original one. Now I know why they specifically chose to attack this base. I'm sorry, Tara, but I have to go after her. Uh, I'll go with you. Yuraka, please ready our gears. Yes, Master Tara. Please be careful. I didn't realize such a place existed beneath the lab. It was nice of you to lead the way. So this is it. I hope it's to your liking. A hidden gear stored in a hangar that doesn't officially exist. This must definitely be the original one. Correct. This is the crown jewel of ancient knowledge humans discovered in Antarctica. A relic of a civilization wiped out over a hundred million years ago. And only those who can sense and manipulate GY particles can operate it. Which, of course, limits its use to star children. Yeah, I know. That's why you need me, right? Are you sure about this? Aren't you with the United Earth Government? It's a key, you see. This key's purpose is to open a certain cage. Which is why it's best I entrust it to you. With this, the God Relayer can... Take the key and go, beloved child of the moon. The original one's okay. So this red gear is the original one. Oh, you got here sooner than I expected. Observer? What are you doing here? Actually, forget about that for now. Was someone else in here? Did you see a girl, slightly younger than me, with pigtails? As a matter of fact, I did. She's right over there. What? The girl you described... Sounds a lot like me. Let's go, original one. We're too good for this damp old dungeon. The original one is moving. Rejoice. After 100 million years, the key has been released from its eternal slumber. What? You mean to tell me you just let her walk in and climb into the original one? All to open the cage. The cycles of the universe must repeat themselves. Go forth and conquer, primordial stellar gear. To the stars and beyond. Luna! Please get out of there! Luna! Hmm. 
not good. She's about to get away with my original one. Himiko, let's hurry outside. Yudaka should be able to slow her down. That's my sister's gear. Dilemma, dilemma. It appears as though this is the original one. In which case, I have but one option. So Daka can pilot a gear? Simple maneuvering might be more accurate. You might want to get in your gear too. You won't be able to hold her for long. I'm on it. The genuine and the forgery. Sister and sister. Earth and moon. What fortune to witness such drama. I'm here, Yudaka. Glad to see you're safe, Master Terra. Was your sister piloting that gear? Yes. I'm not sure why, but... It looks like she was after that red gear all along. Well, that was quite a bold entrance. For a thief. We have to stop her. I don't quite understand why myself. Something just tells me we can't let her succeed. But what can I do? <laughs> Not to worry. Did you forget that you have the first star here? Sit back and enjoy the ride. The smell. No mistaking it. It's been so long since I've smelled starlight. Looks like that red gear has a collaborator in it. That's right, Walker. I stole off with the original one. No problem. Does your presence here mean you finished your meal? I devoured every quasar here. But I'm still starving. Such tiny morsels could never satisfy my hunger. Well, don't presume you can have mine. Do I want the white one? The blue one? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. The light-colored one is mine. No one else can have it. Unacceptable. Our mission is to procure that gear. Dark Knight has instructed us to return as soon as we do so. No. I'm going to kill that one. That's the whole reason I've held on this long. I repeat, our mission is to take that gear intact. You will face the wrath of Dark Knight if you do not obey us. The key is not the only way to open the cage. Fine then. We won't let her get away. Let's go, Terra. <sighs> Got it. I don't think so. I intend to eat you, stars.
question for you. Why do you resist your annihilation? Why? Wouldn't anyone resist getting killed? When we destroy this three-dimensional universe, we will elevate it, and you, to a higher plane. And it will be the sweet nectar that satisfies my insatiable hunger at long last. I will continue to consume the light of countless stars until my hunger is satisfied. Consume starlight? Are you not a big fan of stars? Why would anyone destroy such beauty? I cannot comprehend. To us, they're nothing more than a byproduct of nuclear fusion. Our value systems fundamentally differ. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Procuring salvage. The first star is ready to shine. I'll teach them a lesson. Got you! Status critical! Not bad! Stellagir Astoria. Ready to blaze trail. believe you got me. The first star is ready to shine. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Commencing repairs! I'll do what I can to protect the universe. Gear Astoria. Ready to blaze trail. Let's do it. Delicious. <laughs> Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Be careful, Master Terra. This one is not like the others. If she's driving the wedge between Luna and I, then I just can't run away. Gone! Uh, direct hit. <sighs> Let's do it. It's over. Sorry, I have to get pull back for now. It's time to move out. Push through! A direct hit. I 
still have so much further to go. Leveled up. <laughs> no! This gear's about as useful as scrap metal in my hands. Collaborator retreat confirmed. Mission successfully completed. Withdrawn. Sorry. I must retreat. We were gonna die. Enemy withdrawal confirmed. Zero enemy forces in or around the facility. We, we made it through. You must be tired. Perhaps a reprieve is in order? No. We need to follow Luna. Or at least... I wish we could. I'm not sure how we can now. Considerable time has elapsed since the original one withdrew. Additionally, dashing off into space recklessly is a good way to get lost. Even if we were to overtake her, a confrontation with Relayer forces seems inevitable to me. You're right. And that much is obvious. Even to me. Then... Let's work together. Looks like our goals are aligned anyway. I think it's a good idea. Master Terra, taking her up on this proposal may prove to make the most sense. To extrapolate, even aside from transportation, you will require infrastructure for gear repair and resupply, as well as your own personal provisions. The GravTech Development Group GT Labs, established by the United Earth Government, could provide all of that. Yes, I agree with you. But even so, how are we supposed to go after Luna? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> we'll use our ship. The experimental supergravity vessel Asterism. Appear ill. Yes. I'm fine. I'm just fine. Am I really the only surviving member of my unit? Max, Jessica, Ahmad. Zodia. Damn it. Who in the hell are they? Answer me! Who are you with? Who the hell are you? I'm a star child. A star child? I'm the star child of the moon. Bringer of death to humanity. Star child. Right. That pilot mentioned something about that. I still don't get it. What the hell is a star child? What a surprise to see a survivor amid such destruction. Who the hell are you? have been foretold by the stars. O oh, Keeper of Destiny, you truly are too kind to me. What are you babbling about, moron? Question. What is it you desire from the Star Children? Revenge, of course. They just slaughtered all of my men in cold blood. Revenge, is it? 
Not a bad reason to turn to the dark side. Hey, wait a minute. Do you know what the Star Children are? Quite well, in fact. Perhaps better than anyone. Then tell me. Follow me. I can tell you all you wish to know, and more. Pray, open your eyes, before all comes to naught. Is that me? You must not fight. The original one will only bring you all sorrow. Luna? Is that you? The original one leads the way to zero. It is its sole guide. The original one is a tool of destruction. It brings misfortune to all around it. Make the choice. Everything hinges on your decision. Make a choice, Terra. Choose your destiny. Good morning, Master Terra. How are you feeling? I... must have passed out. What happened to Luna? How long was I out for? Approximately one hour. One hour and seven minutes, to be precise. Now, eight minutes. You'd never ask. We're aboard GT Lab's state-of-the-art experimental supergravity vessel Asterism. You passed out, so we brought you on board. How do you feel? Sorry for all the hassle. I'm no worse for wear. <laughs> Good to hear. Can you walk? I want you to meet the captain. Think you're up for it? expect the Astoria to come back looking like this. Well, how's it holding up? All I can say is that it's a miracle it could even move. I can't believe it made all the way through like this. We'll be engaging the relayers soon. Provisional repairs will have to do. Are you up for it? Of course. It's a real treat as a mechanic to mess around with this baby. Hmm. When did you get to be so cheeky? We are aware of the hijacking of the original one, and have reviewed footage of the fight with the Dark Gear. Accordingly, the Asterism will be tasked with the recovery the original one. Surely you don't expect me just to go along with that. GT Labs only gave us three directives. The first was to test fly the asterism, the second to search for star children, and the third to train pilots. We can properly revise the contracts later. I think you know that's not the point, Isaac. Dressing it up as a recovery mission makes it sound easy. But the truth is, we'd be fighting Relayers. We know next to nothing about them. Including the Astoria, we only have two gears. But the main issue is that our pilots are inexperienced. We're simply not ready. Do you really expect us to fight them in this state? We completely understand. But as Relayers have started appearing within Earth's atmosphere, we really have no other options. Besides, we can't afford to lose the original one yet. You understand that, don't you, Gillian? 
I do. I'll be expecting a huge bonus for this, though. And that's just for starters. We'll do whatever we can to help. I'm counting on you, Gillian. <sighs> you heard the man, Medea. We'll be getting a bonus. I thought you were just whining for a second there. But you handled the negotiations well, Captain. Sorry for the hold-up, you two. Ugh, you talk too much, Captain. And I can't even believe how greedy you are. Look, even Tara is shocked. Uh... <laughs> Tara, was it? Welcome aboard the Asterism. I'm the captain of this ship, Belnix G. Gillian. And that over there is... Radio Officer Medea Caduceus. Nice to meet you, Tara. I'm Tara, and this is my assist bot, Yodaka. Per Master Tara's introduction, I am called Yodaka. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, how cute! Who makes this kind of assist bot? I've never seen one that talks so well. Ah, so you're the new star child Himiko found. Everyone's been talking about you. My name's Pluto. As you might guess, I'm the star child of Pluto. I take care of whatever those two don't. Controls, steering, sensors, electronic warfare. Come to think of it, I'm kind of the battery and brains of this ship. You're... You handle nearly everything on this craft yourself? That's incredible. That about sums it up, Yodaka. It's possible because I'm a bit of a unique star child. He's not lying. We really do manage this bridge with just two crew members. Now down to business. Tell me about this battle you were in. I want to hear details. So that's why you joined the battle in a stellar gear. I can't believe there's a human collaborator on the Relayer side. Not just that, but it's a star child. The whole reason star children were created was so the will of the stars could fight the Relayers. It doesn't even seem possible, but if you actually fought and spoke with her, then it must be. I'm more shocked about Observer. He just let her walk right in and steal it. Isn't a man supposed to do whatever he can to stop that kind of thing? What happened with him? I don't know. Hopefully he got crushed under some rubble. <laughs> he must be pretty bad if even you hate him so much, Himiko. Well, it's not so hard to understand how she feels. Whatever the case may be, he's the monitor the United Earth government assigned to us. I'll put in the missing person report. Um, so, what's going to happen with me? Charges for unauthorized possession of a top secret GT lab stellar gear, and acts of war for starters. <sighs> I'm in it now. I assure you, I transmitted a report to GT labs as soon as we discovered it. Don't worry, we're not a formal military. We won't deal out a harsh punishment. Let me ask you, though. What do you want to do? Well, uh, what do you mean? If you want to join us and go after the original one, or your sister, I should say, I'd be fine with that. But there's something I need you to understand. We plan to get out there and take back what belongs to us. We'll be dealing with relayers. We hardly know anything at all about them. I can't guarantee your safety. If you want off this ride, you can disembark when we stop at port. The GT Labs might take serious interest in a star child with access to such top secret info. C Captain! It's okay, Himiko. With all that in mind, let me ask again. 
What do you want to do? To be perfectly honest, I'm a bit overwhelmed by everything that's happened today. With my sister, I want to find Luna. I need to talk to her. I heard the comm logs. She didn't sound very interested in talking to you. I'm not even sure what I'd say to her if she were here right now. But if I don't talk to her, we'll never have a chance to try and reach some understanding. Luna is the only family I have. I figure she's worth putting my life on the line for. I won't give up. I can't give up. Family ties, huh? Guess that's as good a reason as any. I'm so sorry for speaking out of turn, Tara. Himiko, I'm leaving her in your care. I got this. You're okay with this decision, right, Yuraka? Absolutely. It's your journey. You decide where we go, Master Terra. As I stated previously, the Asterism's goal of locating the original one, and your goal of finding Luna, convening thusly, is quite serendipitous. However, please do be mindful of becoming a hindrance to the crew aboard the Asterism. It's been years since I've lived around people, but when in Rome, do as the Romans, right? Uh, one more thing. Yeah? I fear you may be unaware of this, but you are what is commonly referred to as a dolt. A what now? The most illustrative example in my recollection is the time you got lost on Mount Osori and subsisted off weeds. You grew extremely ill in turn and slept for three days, straight in the elements. There are many such examples of your extreme lack of common sense, and until now, only I have witnessed... Thank you, Yudaka, for regaling everyone with such an enlightening story. Gotta do what you gotta do, but... Weeds? Mount Asor. A volcano in Japan. That's a sacred spot. Huh. Very interesting. So, Tara's adult, huh? <laughs> Got any more funny stories about her? H Himiko! As leader of the Star Children, I need to know everything about those under my care. How about the time her laundry got swept away in the Tokachi River, and she ran after it half-naked? Oh, <laughs> I see. So, Tara enjoys streaking. No, I had no other choice. I'm not into that. Yodaka, please, for the love of all that's holy... Don't embarrass me anymore. <laughs> Sounds like you'll be a fun addition to the team. Are we in grade school here? Finished getting to know the rookie? Yep. Just wrapping up. Then have her stop by. If you plan on having her pilot, there's someone she should meet. Gotcha. I'll send her over. Himiko, stay here. I need to talk to you. Okay. 
Wait, before I go, can I just take one picture? Uh, sure, but why a picture? Photography is my hobby. Also, it'll help me remember everyone's names and faces. <laughs> In that case, take as many as you like. You don't mind, do you, Captain? Not at all. Okay, here goes. Say cheese. Hmm. So you're the brand new rookie. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you. My name's Akaboshi. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there something on my face? You're the one who repaired this? Yes, I guess so. Where'd you learn? Um, it's just kind of a hobby. That's amazing for someone with no training. Wow. Rance almost never compliments anyone. Maybe it'll rain tomorrow. Not that it can in space. Um, you are... That's right. I wanted to introduce you to her. This is Venus. She takes care of the Astoria and the Gears as part of her training. Any questions about your gear? She's your girl. She may not look like it, but she knows her gears. I can vouch for it. If your name is Venus, that must mean you're a star child too? Yeah, that's right. I possess the will of Venus. But I'm not a pilot. I'm a mechanic. Don't hesitate to let me know if I can help you with anything, okay? Thank you. Likewise. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, is it okay if I take your picture? A picture? Sure, I guess that's okay. Why? I just want to try and remember everyone's names and faces. I just took a picture of the captain and Medea, too. You're a real go-getter. All right, then. Let's get one with Gramps, too. Scoot over this way, Grandpa. Why do I need to be in the picture? We haven't taken a picture together in years. Come on, it'll be fun. Copy later. Sure, it's the least I can do for you. Oh, hey, would you mind taking another one? Sure, of course. Okay, everyone, great time. Come over here. Hey, the little lady's calling us. Everyone, take five. You heard the boss. A group photo. Tell me this. Some of us may not be around for much longer. Just wanted to get a picture of all of us together. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm not actually the one who needs to talk. That would be him. Hi, Neil. It's been a while. I last saw you on Earth... What? About a month ago? Hey there. Good to see you, Himiko. You seem to be doing well. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? I'm running a background check on Terra, and I've hit a wall. Is there anything you can tell me about her? Well, what have you found so far? Name is Terra. Surname unknown. She's in her late teens to early twenties. She was on Artemis for seven days, staying at the Selene Hotel, room number 305. Her name isn't in the terminal visitor log, so it must be true that she arrived in a stellar gear from the orbital ring. That's it. If it were you or Venus, I could find your family register, educational history, and even birth weight pretty quickly. Uh... <laughs> You sound more like a creepy stalker than a background investigator. Yeah, everyone's always on guard around me. The only person I can really talk to is Isaac. 
Anyway, I digress. She's a star child, so naturally GT Labs wants to know everything about her. Her sister is the one who stole the original one, so there's doubt as to if we can trust her. Whatever you know is fine, Himiko. Can you share anything with me? It's not that I don't want to. I just met her today myself. She mentioned she's a survivor of the gravity loss incident two years ago. And that she has almost no memory prior to that. She said she traveled all over Japan and to some other countries. Anything else? Nothing you don't already know. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. But it's possible she may be a Relayer spy. Sure, there's a lot we don't know about Terra, but there's no way. No one likes being suspicious, but the United Earth Government and GT Labs aren't going to be okay with this at all. Understand? I hear you. In that case, I'll vouch for her. Does that work? No skin off my back. I'll stay suspicious, you stay trusting. Anyway, I need to get going. Let me know if you learn anything else. Why so pensive, Master Terra? I was just thinking about Luna. About how she is a star child, yet has aligned herself with the Relayers? That too. But what I really don't understand is why she hates me so much. That day two years ago, I did let go of her hand. It's true. But... She has to know I didn't do it on purpose. Why does she hate me so much? Beyond that, it's the Relayers who caused the gravity loss event. So why is she on their side? Mere speculation. But the answer may lie somewhere within your lost memories. If it's impossible to restore your memory, why don't we try uncovering your past on this journey? Even if you don't find the answers you seek, I suspect that you may at least venture closer to the truth. My past. There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Himika. Already finished talking with the captain? Yeah, it was nothing important. Do you have a minute? I wanted to show you around the ship. Sure, that sounds great. Do you mind, Yudaka? Not at all. As you wish, Master Terra. Nice. Let's do it. I would assume it stands for Central Control Center. 